Hi folks, August K. Miller Potch to my channel, Irish Country Prepper. So this is my emergency first aid kit. Basically as the book says, so it's for when help is not on the way. Just stuff you can have at home to rest your, your concerns basically. So I've gone a bit crazy with my stuff, so I had to go and get two IKEA those kind of hangy things you put on the doors for shoes because I find if you're not organized if you can't see what you have you don't know you have it or you spend too long looking for it so I'll just go through some stuff that I have I got these which we've actually used quite a lot already they're instant cold packs and um, I have two young children they're quite outdoorsy they're into bushcraft we get burns, stings, twists, sprains, all that kind of stuff on a regular basis, so you need to be prepared. What else? Oh yes, I've got some good stuff here. Um, so, I'm, I'm not recommending this, but this is what I did. I got some antibiotics. So, this is an American site, so they're actually antibiotics for fish. Um, but... When you open them, they're the same, so I reckon if you if you need them in a pinch, you can use them. I had a friend who recently travelled to Egypt and she could get some stuff without prescription. We've got some heavy duty 15% lidocaine there, so it's topical anaesthetic. And um, might be useful for the kids. We've got some electrolytes. And I have some cannulas, which we use regularly for taking out splinters and that kind of stuff. You've got your topical soother cream, some KY jelly for suppositories for the children. It makes the whole thing a little bit easier. More Dior lights. First aid manual. We've got our heavy duty Atlas of Human Anatomy and Surgery. Hopefully I won't need that. Um, but if we do, I've got these surgical staplers, which look really cool. Um, we've got some cohesive bandage with more staplers. Obviously they're single use and they're sterile, so... Once you use it once, you can't use it again. We've got some little purpose forceps for removing the staples when they've done their job. Some deep heat. We've got tourniquets too. They say with tourniquets, two is one, one is none. So we've got two of them. And they do say that you should practice how to use your tourniquet. You should know what part of the body that you, you can use a tourniquet on. Again, this is not medical advice. This is just something that I've researched myself. Um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube from trained medical professionals who can tell you all about that. We have some alcohol wipes, lots of them. We've got some adhesive dressings, we've got some bandages, more bandages. Oh, we have my suture kit, which I threaten my children with, but if they climb up the trees too far, that mommy's going to stitch them up. It doesn't deter them though. And um, we've got some. The mosquito hemostats, which I personally prefer to using them, like the little curve on them, or not mosquito, sorry, curved hemostats. And we have some dental bibs just with a non porous background if you're kind of getting stuff ready or with blood, whatever's not going to go through. Some more dressings, some surgical tape, and we've got some scissors. The amount of times we need to use burn gels is unbelievable in this house. We've got some colloidal silver. Again, this stuff can be used for the humans and for the animals. We've got some nice iodine. as a picture of a cow in it. I wouldn't let that put me off, but again, I'm not a medical professional. And um, we've got some like skin adhesive liquid, and um, we haven't used that yet. We've got some odds and ends. We've got some antifungal stuff here. Um, also, I use tea tree a lot for antifungal stuff. I find that really good. We've got some witch hazel. Um, we've got some bear leaf so, um, for like cold sores, that kind of stuff. And then hydroperoxide is good for cleaning wounds. I've just got some surgical blades there that I use again for getting splinters and stuff out. Hydroperoxide, can't have too much of this stuff. More burn dressing. This the single use one can be quite expensive, and um, so they're really only for a bad burn. I've had to use them once. My son dropped a flask of boiling water on his foot, which was quite bad. I was all night that night. Cotton wool. 
here's some powder which is good help dry things up as well handy to have it chamomile so you can get this for the skin irritations got a diagnostic pen I just leave that in the box so the kids don't waste the battery on it and I know where it is and super cream got some savon for pantaseptic got more bites and spray things here I've got some heavy scrub so you can wash your hands with it in advance um, powder there this is my splint kit which is not so easy to splint children it's very difficult right over here we've kind of table the section so i've got disprins paracetamol all that kind of crack and bongella for cold sores lots of antihistamines I've got these forceps which you might need if you're going to use the stapling or if you're going to be using your surgery kit some neurofen some calpol the kids are kind of getting out of that age, but they're not old enough yet that they can take um, dosages for paracetamol, that kind of stuff. And you've got some things go back to the future, some for parasitic worm treatments, and that you can also use some natural stuff for this. I got this in the chemist, which I hadn't seen before, so that looks pretty heavy duty. Uh, 400 milligrams and it's liquid. It says pharmacy only, got them online. It was irishpharmacy.ie. I find them really good. Um, here is my overseas augmenting, so I'm really happy to have them just as a stockpile, just in case I need it. And um, this book is really, really good. And um, it goes through the dosages you can give. And again, I'm not recommending people do this, but that's just what I'm doing. What else have we got? We've got some decongestion stuff. We've got some petroleum jelly, handy to have it. I haven't gone too mad on this. I just started to do this stuff for diarrhea and I want to get some more stuff for cramping. And um, we don't have much stomach problems in this house, but again, just to have it in my little arsenal. First aid manual. There's some more gels for strains and that kind of stuff. Teeth. I think the mouth gets overlooked with the first aid kits, so it's a temporary repair kit. Um, and this is my latest threat with my children, that they don't brush their teeth, that mommy may need to get her special tool out. So that's just for if you're going to need to do any removals. Um, what else? We've got tea tree cream. This is really, really good. I use this for all kinds of cuts, scrapes, it's an antifungal as well. Um, really, really good. Big thing of bandages, I get all that stuff on Amazon and I get it in bulk because in this family we tend to go through a lot of these type of things. I got this, which is handy for checking for ears. So if you need to use your augment or whatever, you can see if there's like red inflammation in the inner ear. Um, it would be quite good as well if you've got really young kids for seeing up the nose, that kind of thing, to see if they actually have got a firm body. I picked up these, which are like for little telescopic magnetic things. They could be used, I suppose, in the shed, but they can also be used, again, for small children who like to put things in their ears and up their nose. And I can't really think of anything else I have. So it's mainly minor stuff. I have got my augmenting. I have got this, which is... The equivalent of moxicillin, 250 milligrams. And um, there's a 500 milligrams, which is a slightly heavier dose. What else? Yeah, my augmentin. I think there's something else. Oh, yes. So I think I'm very, very well prepared. Um, I'm happy with that. Some more stuff, maybe for tummy bugs, more for diarrhea. Um, stuff for constipation, stuff to stop diarrhea, more stuff for to help with dehydration, um, and I think that's pretty much it. So that's on my list. Um, I'm quite happy with the levels of everything else. I don't really have that much stuff for cough bottles, cough syrups, but we do have a lot of honey. We started keeping bees. It's our first year, so we haven't actually harvested any bees yet. Or sorry, honey. Of course, we won't be harvesting the poor bees, um, but we have bought local honey from local producers and again that the honey and the hive and the bee care that's something I'm going to get in another video so obviously you can see that I don't think too much is too much I like to be super prepared and like to have everything 
I'm not too worried about expiry dates and these things, even with the, the likes of the antibiotics. If they say they're expired, I'm happy enough just, if there's no alternative, obviously, I'm happy enough just to go with it. Having them is better than having nothing. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. If you can see something that I've left out, please, by all means, drop it in the comments because I'd love to see it. Okay, be safe.